Alright, so it's it's not balmy outside by any means, got my gloves on. Um, it's a whopping plus three, it's, I don't know, March 7th, and uh, I'm going to try to install the uh, Oxford heated grips that I just got. So, took the tarp off the bike, um, there's the grips, and I've got a few tools including, you know, a little wrench, a little knife, and uh, let's see what we can do here. Alright. Alright, so I watched a few videos on this online, but I figured I'd do my own. So, I'm going to attempt at first to get these grips off, and uh, I'm going to attempt to get them off without cutting them, but we'll see. Um, I also have this on here, you'll see that, right, the uh, clamp here for the throttle control. Hopefully that won't become too big of an issue. Um, but we're going to first attempt to take these off simply by removing the bar ends. Right, and then uh, seeing if we can get a screwdriver underneath there to see if we can get that removed. So we shall see how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna get some tools and see if I can get that off because she's not coming off. She's on there really tight. So give me a few minutes and I'll see if I can get that off. I hope so. Okay, after several attempts, that one's not coming off. So I've tried some WD-40 just to get it in there, see if I can loosen the grip on it. Um, nope. So we're going to try to cut it. So we're going to get in there with this and see how that works. So let's hope for that. We're basically going to take it, just give it a good slide down here. I'll let her go. So let's see how that works. All right, there comes the grip part. That came off actually really easy. So now I just, and I can, you can see, I'm gonna bring this in closer. All right, you can see probably why that's not coming off. If you can see the amount of glue and stuff that they got in there, my guess is, is that bar end is actually glued to the handlebar. So we're gonna see if I can tear this off. If not, out comes the hammer. We're gonna get this off. All right. All right, so I just want you guys to see this. So again, pulling this off. You can see kind of what they left there, whoever had this bike before. Um, and they basically got the glue right in there, so that wasn't coming off. So me and a hammer, right, there's this, you know, I had to basically get a flathead in there and pry that off. So that's, it's off, which is good. Of course now this piece just slides off, which is cool. Uh, in regards to glue, Actually, pretty good. I'll give it a little cleaning just to make sure. And then we're gonna take this one off as well. My hope is this one should come off nice and easy. But we're gonna get the screwdriver in there and find out. Basically, you're just doing this to uh, unbind the glue that was in there before so that the grip can kind of come off. So once you kind of get your screwdriver around here, It should come off no problem. So get that right up. You gotta make sure you have a long enough screwdriver. Get all the way in there. Get all the way up. Yeah, like I said, you're just trying to break the glue. I mean this is only if you wanna salvage these. And honestly, I don't know if I do. Um, I mean, just, you know, tear them off. So, get my old knife out again. And I got one of these kind of knives. Uh, I don't remember where I put it. Again, just in case I have glue and stuff to scratch off, it just kind of comes out a little nicer, I find. Okay, so as you can probably see, I've got the grip off and 
you know, if you have one of these throttle controls like I have there, I'm gonna end up taking that off because uh, it gets in the way. And uh, I may put it back on after, but we shall see. Um, I don't really use it a lot, so it came with the bike. Uh, but you have to take it off to be able to get that, um, the old grip off. So, off she comes. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of a wash and uh, see if I can get the other grips on. So just give me a sec, guys. All right, so here's one of the bonuses with these knives is if you have glue on it, you can just literally just kind of go through here. You know, you see all this kind of crap I have on my the bottom here, so I can just, well, clean all that off, which is, which is really nice. And these blades are cheap. I picked this one up. I picked this one up at Walmart for like four bucks, so good investment to just kind of clean off all the stuff off your grips just to make sure you get it all nice and clean before you get the new grips on cool all right so the grips are all clean uh, now we're going to take these so beware right smaller hole is uh, clutch side bigger hole throttle side so you want to kind of line them up a little bit first and uh, just to make sure that they're going to fit on there properly, that you don't have to take any of the ends off. We're going to remove these so we get a, we don't damage that when we're trying to get it in. Because I'm probably going to use maybe a piece of wood or something just to help bang that on there. So we're going to make sure it's measured. Put some glue which comes in there and slide this one on to see how it goes. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to come down here. You guys can see me. I got the smaller one. And you can see when I line this up, hopefully you guys can see that. that it's they're pretty much made for the Tanabar, right? These are right on the right mark. Now you want this, so it's not going to hit, right? So I'm going to have them so both are gables, you know. I don't want this to interfere, so I want this piece here in the grip to kind of be down. So I'm going to line that up. So it's going to come in right around that mark, and we're going to slide it up. So I'm going to get uh, a hammer and a little piece of wood, hammer and a little piece of wood, and we're going to get that going. All right, all right. So we punctured the grip glue that came with this, and we're just going to take a bit of it, and we're going to run it up and down the post here. Um, don't put a crazy amount on there, but just enough. It's it's usually it's usually quite runny, so you know you don't want it dripping all over the place. But we're going to put it on there. We're just going to get on there. And I also have a tendency to want to put it just a little bit on the inside of the grip, just to make sure it not too much. Again. Gotta make sure you have enough for your other grip and make sure that, you know, for anything else that you may need. All right, so we're gonna put this on and I'll be right back. So grip one is on. Um, again, you wanna make sure that you put it on in a way that if you're gonna, when you pull the, the clutch in or your brake on, that uh, it's not gonna interfere with that piece right there. So I'll check mine out, looks like it's good. And uh, I think these grips are gonna work really nice. I'm very pleased, one down. Okay, I want you guys to really see this. It is important. So this is this is the throttle side, and I, I went to put this on, and I was a little concerned about it. I had heard about these ridges, and a lot of people were saying that you have to cut these ridges off. But I looked inside, and it looks like these actually have little slots in them. So of course I put it on, and it doesn't want to go. But if you give it a little spin, she finds one of the slot grooves, and she just goes right on which is fantastic so no good perfect all right find the slot groove and you're you're dead on the money so i can look at this and be like is that good all right that comes up here and i have to so i'm probably gonna find that spot is that okay i think i think i think that'll be okay right there right let's face them down nice yeah that one i think is up too hard I don't think it'll hit, but I'd rather have it here just in case. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right about there. So again, I'm just gonna put some glue on it, and that went on super easy. All right, so we have two grips installed. Not too painful at all. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna take that piece off right now, and then I'm gonna start wiring. So we're gonna run uh, the actual controls down to the battery. Um, I'm not going to show you the battery part because honestly, it's hooking up the battery. It's pretty standard for everything. Um, but I will show you where I mount it, and it does have some mounting options, so we'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, well, they are on. Jimmy, they're on. They're on. 
it, it actually took a little longer than I thought. Uh, it's a lot of cable, and I kind of got it bunched up there for now. I'll figure out what to do with it later. Um, guy got twist ties all over the place, which again will be clipped. And I'll change them into black ones, but I only have white ones available right now. The ones that came in the package, and I broke two of them just trying to tighten, so not that great. Um, you'll notice I don't actually have the controller on my bar, so I ended up sticking it up there on my bat wing. I figured it would be better. Um, just, I have enough stuff on my bars, so I figured it would be good to get it out of the way. But, take a look, up here, little red button, little light, nice and uh, easy to reach. And uh, I'm gonna turn the bike on and see how well they work, but uh, I think they should work great. All right guys, that's my install of the Oxford heated grips for cruisers. There you go. All right guys, ciao.